Hello everyone, my name is Clement Reed, a final year journalism student in the Department of Communication Studies. Today I'll be sharing with you four ways that you can improve your journalism skills without taking up a book. Number one, experience. Experience, experience, experience. Experience, they say, teaches wisdom. Loki, in his answer to Thanos in the Avengers Endgame, to Thanos' question, do you consider failure experience? What did Loki say? I consider experience experience. My friends, as long as you find a way to get hands-on learning in whatever field you are in, yeah? Write a story, report a story, and uh, you know, being in the field uh, can be much more valuable than actually being in the class. Number two, get in practice. Yes, you just done the class. Yes, you need a break. Yes, you, you want a little break from school, but find a little time, man. Find a little time and, uh, and set aside for rewriting a story. You know, when you read a story, when you, when you see a story in the cleanup, look at it and say, oh, how can I take a different angle? How can I take a different standpoint from this story that was already written? You understand? And test yourself. Go outside of your comfort zone and get practice. Practice so that you can be more accustomed to the art. So that writing a story becomes second nature. So that reporting a story becomes second nature. Number three, finding ideas in your surroundings. Yes, so you know, you're in a community where your sister them not have no water. Your sister like gone regularly. You see, you know, child abuse or some 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 angle, some story that you know you can take from what's going on around you. And right there you're developing the eye of a journalist. Alright? Picking out stories where others won't see. And that can be one of can be a very great tool when you go out in the working world. Because when you go on internship or when you, when you go to your first job, they're going to say, okay, what's going on? What would you do? What angle would you take? And so from now, you looking around, you seeing what's been accustomed to, to getting ideas from what's going on around you would already give you the, 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 the heads up as to what, what employ, employers are looking for. Number four, being versatile. I know sometimes the, the female journalists, they, they shy away from the sports journalism as section of the art. But I'm going to tell you, if you are able to dabble in all the different sections, if you are able to, to be more versatile, that right there, my friend, will set you apart from the rest. Understand? So you go in the working world, the sports journalist isn't on the job at the moment. It might not be as strong as suit, but because you have already gotten the experience in that area, you can say, okay, I got to do this today. Yeah, the boss can call for me for do that. You know? And so right there and then you have already set yourself above the rest. So be versatile. Do not only don't limit yourself to only writing political or, or crime stories, so on. But have a versatile mindset in, in, in what you're studying. And so my friends, those are the four tips that I'm gonna leave with you today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you not about book from the start. As you go out, just yeah. Listen, listen. I hope I encourage someone, I hope I inspire someone, and I hope that you can uh, take these and bring it to someone else as, as we continue to grow and as we continue to be this